right, besties. So what I'm doing today is the wrap for the Oreo 2-pack. I'm doing this in Cricut Design Space, but you can use this in Publisher or Microsoft Word as well. I am um, basically going to walk you through a few of the things and the measurements, and then we'll get to designing. The Sesame Street sign and the Elmo came from a file from Etsy that I purchased a few months ago. The Oreo PNG and the Nabisco sign came from Google. Okay, so let me show you guys your measurements and then we can go from there. The measurements that I use and I made mine a little bit bigger because as far as wrapping the cookies is concerned, it was a little bit tight when I first did the measurement, so I made it a little bit bigger. The middle section that you're going to design is going to be 4.5 by 2 inches. I'm going to go ahead and go to my files and upload everything that I used in my project. I went ahead. For this background, I went to my control panel, I turned it into a print went to patterns and this is one that I uploaded from a, a Google search that I did. For anything that you put on this side, you want to flip it horizontal and vertical. So you just go here to your flip, horizontal, flip vertical, and then you'll resize it. And that way when the person's looking at it, they will see it right side. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this wrap. I am going to go ahead and get this printed. So I am going to select this all together. You want to make sure you flatten or all your pieces will come through separately when you try and make it. Okay, so now I'm going to go to make it. Okay, so here is my uh, wrapper that I printed. I am using these two pack of cookies. I am going to tape down each side of my wrapper and only one side of the edge. So I'm only gonna go down one side, but both sides of the long edges. I'm going to get my placement right of exactly how I want to fold this over.
There you have it. If you need to trim off any, uh, there's more than enough space. Um, so if you wanted to make it smaller, you could. I always give myself a little bit of extra room because in case I need to trim anything or, you know, if it's uneven or something like that, like um, this right here, you can see like a tiny bit of white. I normally just trim that off to where it looks like that. Okay, so pretty much uh, that is basically the only thing I did. Also leave extra room in case you wanna use your crimper. Uh, you don't smash up your cookies. And there you go, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely let me know below in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.